My name is Colin. I'm from Queens. Favorite flu? Planting. <laughs> What's good? Um, Stephanie, I'm from Brooklyn. And I'll be 31 on Sunday, that's it. Hey! <laughs> Twix man, Twix man in the mix with Twix. Uh, New York City time, you rocking with the best. I'm in here swagger splashing with no hands. Looking at the UFO in person. Everybody wanna know karate, but nobody wanna wax on, wax off. Okay. I'm freshening in the list of ring strip. What's up? Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm Bianca. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, and I manage an AR AP department and a plumbing company in Harlem. And you run that shit. Yeah. Gang, gang, you know? Hey. 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 I'm Jami. I'm a teaching artist. I'm from Kenya, but we have Flatbush. Hey. Bang, blah. <laughs> Oh, I feel like there's a double standard with provocative pictures according to men and women because women are allowed to send provocative pictures all day, every day, and a dude will be so hype about it. If a dude sends an unwarranted dick pic, girls will flip. First of all, Keyword. if it's not the right size, Keyword. she gonna flip. Keyword. If, exactly, if it's unwarranted. But the thing is, this is the thing. So if he had a big <laughs> dick, you'll probably be like, I ain't asking you for this, but it's still send it to your group chat. Look at this thing. <laughs> But if it was, it was small, it still gets it. It still goes to the group chat. But girls always feel offended sometimes when guys send dick pics. Mind you, you'll be having a full conversation about sex, and he throw the picture out there, and he's like, "All right, my dude, what, what are we doing here, right?" But a girl can send it at ten o'clock in the morning, and a dude be like, "Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like there'll be no problem with it." So there is kind of like a double standard when it comes to that. I know that for a fact. I don't know, I feel like society has like trained, like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know about y'all, but like for some men it's like, yo, so what's up? Like, send a pic, and it's like, I hate that. You're gonna get this pic it. on you my head. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Hell yeah. Yes. I do bra and panty. Really, really? Bra and panty. I don't do full <laughs> nude. No face, no face. No face, no face, no face. But there might be something specific that somebody else saw, and they might be like, oh, well, that's Beyond the City. So, <laughs> I don't ask <laughs> me for a dick pic, but. Probably three times in my entire life. You're alive. That you said a dick pic? Yeah, right. Every dude has an album of dick pics. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And I don't know. They have at least five pictures on their phone of their dick in the perfect angle. Stop lying. I don't want to see it. But they all have. Oh, now you're offending. No, no, no. I don't want to. I know you got a girl that will, like, you know, just Oh, my God. No, and it says of like every dude got at least five pictures. Am I lying? No. Or at least exactly yeah, of this shit in a perfect angle. Yeah. Yeah. When it's shaved, when it's shaved, so it look a little bigger. I when it lay down, there are three men here saying that that is not true. They're lying because how they send dick pics so I quick. Know, You're not that well and ready. There's not hard. I'll be honest. I have I have one You're dick pic in my phone. I don't have none. One now. I don't know what kind of niggas she fuck with, but niggas do not have that shit. I don't think it's appropriate for no man to be drama kings on uh, any social media because um, it it kind of it kind of shows your hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, it creates an atmosphere for people to know how to attack you to get a reaction. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have my own platform. Some people like it. Some people don't. Some people have their opinions: negative, positive. I never create a situation to where somebody could get a reaction from me because once you open the door, it's it's, it. it's open ball. You know what I'm saying? So I, I truly I truly believe um, as a man on you know on social media, no matter what no, no matter what platform it is, you have to hold your composure. You know, a woman a woman as well. You know you don't you don't want to have an argument, and it shows it shows it shows. You don't even have to know what a nigga going through to know what he going through because of his post. Mm -hmm. Oh, you talking about your backstabbing friends? Mm -hmm. You have backstabbing friends, my nigga. You talking about your, you, no, nah, real talk. You no, talking about real. girls cheating on that? Yeah. yeah, that's about your girl. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that creates that that opens more of a threshold for niggas to even come at your girl. If you if you having girl problems and you talk about girls' hoes, then niggas know you have a girl. Yeah. Why would not come at your girl? Because I know she loose like that. It, it, because you saying that. Wait, what? Yeah, a man, no. you know, in today's society, uh, taking advantage of the social media platforms, you know, uh, that varies in most. Keep keep your personal situation to yourself because little do you know, people people are attacking you on the way they see you post. Your close friends especially. 
because they know the people you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, um, I, I had uh, made a post earlier uh, in reference to the same question. I, I was saying that, um, I can't say it in verbatim, but I did uh, say it in the sense that if, if, you have, if you have an issues or you have a falling out or you have beef with one of your homeboys, whether you plan on being cool in the future or not, let your girl know that. Cause at the end of the day, it'd be them niggas that set you up and kill you, come to your funeral and be talking to your girl like, look, you know what I'm saying? That's my man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because they watch your social media. And I'm just saying, I, I said to say this, watch your tone on social media. Everything is not for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So be very, very particular on how you post. It's too much of, it's, I see too much of people posting their personal situations, sex life, even if you're not about that life. Somebody gonna thank you where they're gonna be in your inbox, you know what I'm saying? If you post a picture, even when it comes down to pictures, it don't have to be the raunchiest picture in the world, but the moment a nigga see you showing too much skin, niggas is like trying to get to know you a little better. So you know what I'm saying? So if you talking about the girl you sleeping with in a negative way, them niggas wanna know that too. You feel me? And they gonna be in your inbox. Your homeboys. You feel me? So just And the guys, what about the and the guys that are like being extremely defensive in the comment sections and fighting and arguing. That shows that you're not, just in general, like if, they, general, if they're yeah. arguing or talking about a post, like, oh, she a hoe, she a this, or oh, it nah, makes them you look like less of a man. niggas don't have girlfriends. Anybody that, 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 that voice their opinion negatively, you know what I'm saying, like arguing on social media about women, I, I feel like if you have your own, you don't have to really partake in that. There are times when I state my opinion and that's just it because I'm comfortable in the situation. <laughs> Niggas is just too loose with their life and that's the reason why they loose with everybody else's. If you have control over your situation and you comfortable in your life and your partner, you know, you're not gonna have too much input on somebody, else on somebody else's relationship. So anytime somebody, anytime I see a post and there are times I'm on Instagram or Facebook and I see a young lady post, she might say something provocative or look provocative I might like the way it look, and I'm gonna check the comments, see what niggas talking about. <laughs> when I see niggas talking greasy, I know the niggas ain't got no girl. It's also important to remember language, right? So when we when we talk about drama, we associate that as a feminine trait, okay, right? So if you are a male on social media, you are a drama king, quote unquote, right? It's kind of like, oh nah, that's a feminine thing. Like, why are you doing that? You're asking for attention. Like, that's not what we as men do. You know, so then that creates like this weird, gender like, gender-specific yeah. roles where men can't really express themselves. It's a difference if you're giving your opinion yeah. about a specific topic you're talking about. Because you, if you're talking about political stuff or whatever that's yeah. different than if you're talking about a specific person right. in, a specific, in a specific situation it's going and you're talking you got a problem exactly right. 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 That's, that's, a a different, that's a different thing now you're just looking for attention you're not looking to actually solve the issue that you have Sometimes niggas just need to vent, and sometimes people don't know how to deal nah. with situations at the time. You don't Real know talk. Wait, no, 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 I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about you have to understand. Can y'all can, can y'all admit this one thing that y'all have been in an awkward situation one time where you don't know how to deal with it, and sometimes you just gotta vent to somebody. Go to your okay, friends. But guess what? But guess what? Sometimes people what feel like you're venting to people who really don't give a shit. Some people don't understand that. Tell you from personal experience, right? My daughter's dad trashed me, Tra I'm talking about like, drag, drug me through the mud. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a great mother. And the way he talked about that. me, like I was a dog on the street, like as if, like my daughter had no business being with me. Now the, pro the, the, the proper person, right? Like, if you feel like your daughter, your mother doesn't belong with her, you go to court and, and take her, right? Now, what do you do? You go on social media and talk a whole bunch of shit and call me all kind of names and do all these disrespectful things. And it's like that, Man or woman, you're not supposed to do that. That's not, that's you are not, that's not respect. Yeah, you have to respect. still respect the person, yeah. however you're feeling on the inside. If you, you can hate me all you want, but why are you going to tell people who don't give a shit about nothing you talking about, about me? And about stuff that's not true. And guess what? I don't have to respond because I know the truth. And people who know me and him know the word. truth. But there's other ways to vent how you feel. Thank you want to vent? Get yourself a goddamn job. But then there are times when you vent and Thank you feel you. like you're alone and then you start like a hashtag. Like the other day I was on Twitter, black women at work. 
Like if that, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes there is a platform for venting. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So like, when they it's, it's, get it's people nuanced. With similar experience. Yeah, when you you, you feel like, like you're alone sometimes, sometimes and maybe you're not. You have to understand, some people just interpret certain things differently. Like a diary is not enough for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some niggas sometimes they really need them got, likes. Yeah, sometimes they really Niggas need, need them likes. That's what it is. And them comments. Niggas need them likes. Yo, Steph, Steph. And them piggybacks. Yo, Steph, Steph. I'm not even justifying that. But some people put shit up on social media just to get likes, just to know, just to self validate themselves. That's what I'm saying, though. Because it'd be the same people that write memes and stuff all day and they be like, oh, motherfuckers is in my business all the time. What? You posted your business from morning to night, Monday through Friday, <laughs> right, and then right you got upset now because some girls over here talking smack about you. <laughs> I don't understand that. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make but sense. You made it easy for them. Exactly. Yeah. You literally gave them a, a, a loophole into your life.